Mike, thanks for clicking on my link. And I'll just give you a quick overview. Best of Austin, deadline May 20th. Events this week, Protocol 7, the film I scored, House and Pet Sitting, and Santa Fe. Those are the topics I'm gonna to cover. First of all, May 20th, which is coming up really quick, is the deadline for the Best of Austin. And it would really be a great honor if you would help nominate, actually nominate, vote for me as the best classical musician in Austin. And it would help elevate our, what, what I do for the community with all the different projects, Strings in the Woods, Strings Attached Cares. And so if you followed me for all these years, click in the link below for Best of Austin, Austin Chronicle 2024, or you can just Google it right now. I'm up against Graham Reynolds. I was nominated last year, Graham beat me out. Let's see if we can get Best Classical Musician in Austin. Been here for 30 years. You're, you are familiar with my work if you're on my email list. So that deadline is May 20th, the link is below. And all the links of everything I'm gonna mention will be below. So events this week, if you wanna come out with this beautiful weather that we're having, isn't it just gorgeous? Tonight, we're doing yoga and music with a certified yoga teacher on the green belt. And you can just come on down to 1601 Spyglass for that or find out the information at austin.stringsinthewoods. That's tonight, Wednesday night, and every Wednesday through the month of May. And then this Sunday, we're doing something really special at the new venue that I have been putting together called ATX Unplug, which is this beautiful venue right around the corner from the Continental Club, where we feature entirely acoustic music. So I've got two shows at ATX Unplug, excuse me. <laughs> We're doing an acoustic version of Dark Side of the Moon. Wonder what the Dark Side of the Moon would sound like. Do you think we can pull it off? Dave Madden is joining me and Steve Zirkel is joining me. We're gonna do Dark Side of the Moon completely unplugged this Sunday, May 19th. And you can get tickets for that at concertsinthedark.com. And then every full moon, I have a different guest come play with me, Music of the Beatles at uh, ATX Unplugged. So next Thursday, May 23rd, our full moon Beatles concert in the dark. Again, concertsinthedark.com. And then at the end of the month on May 25th, Saturday, I'm bringing all the way from Norway, an amazing classical guitarist and composer, Christina Send. Garrison. I'm probably not getting her name right, but she's coming all the way from Norway to do a concert in the dark. Concerts in the dark.com for tickets for that. So those are the events that are happening over the next week. Your support is so appreciated, appreciated. And I want to thank every one of you who is on the texting list, on my email list. You have made it possible for me to make a living in Austin. I do not take that lightly. Uh, and some more things coming up. Uh, you may have heard that for the last year I was, I was working on a full feature film with Julie Roberts' brother, Eric Roberts, the writer of Shrek and Pirates of the Caribbean, wrote this movie, Protocol 7. I'll be doing two screenings, which uh, will be happening soon, but I don't have the dates yet. And if you want to be on if you want to get texted about that personally from me when those dates become available, because there'll only be 90 seats in each theater, uh, you can sign up below. There's a link below. You can just leave it right there. That was so fast. Thanks. This is, this is uh, ATX food. Speaking of ATX, they made it so fast right there, <laughs> right here at uh, Barton Springs and Lamar, the most amazing vegan food. So Protocol 7, the movie that I did the entire score for, spent a whole year uh, I used some local musicians on it. And if you want to see the film with me hosting it, sign up below. There's a link below to get notified when those screenings become available. And also, another reason why that I've been able to stay in Austin and do all of this work, music work, work for the community, Strings in the Woods, all of this is... Um, by doing this house and pet sitting. So if you need any house or pet sitting, this is what enables me to stay in such an expensive city as a completely independent artist. I don't have a day job. This is my day job, this is what I do. So if you are if you need somebody to house or pet sit, I have multiple references. I am criminally background checked. Uh, you probably know me. And so a lot of people through the strings attached and people that know me through strings in the woods, 
uh, get me to house sit for them in the summer or whenever, I have lots of openings from July through Christmas. So just uh, make a comment below or you can reach me 512-589-8749. And that's the end of the update. Thanks for watching this. Click, I'll click the links below. And I'll be going to Santa Fe at the end of June. So this is your last time to catch some amazing events uh, before it gets super hot, before the inferno comes. Come see us in this beautiful weather tonight, every Wednesday, yoga and music on the green belt starting at 7 p.m. The sun goes down, it's gorgeous. Don't you want to support somebody that has grown up and made his way in Austin, brings amazing events? Give us a chance. If you haven't been to your second event and you're seeing this video, please come see us. Uh, love all of you and love to see you all in person. ATX Foods, the best vegan food in Austin. And click the links below, I'll see you tonight. And don't forget to vote for best classical musician in Austin by May 20th. Best of Austin, Austin Chronicle. You can Google it or look for the link below. Have a great day. Take care, everyone. He was an orphan of conflict in Africa. He was smart and bright, and then we got him home and he crashed right in front of us. Apparently, we're in the midst of a month's outbreak. Another? Some very important people are saying our vaccine does not work. You're gonna wanna read this. We have a US monopoly and a major share of the world market for MMR. And we own the only one that works. Except that it does not. We all sign contracts, Chuck. Company interests above all others. Make it work. They fake the data. It's all there. They cheated on every level. You said you're a lawyer. Family law. And you want to understand why? Let me see it. They couldn't get the result they wanted, so they re-engineered it. Not objective to improve the vaccine, but find something that gets them the result they want. <laughs> Fix it, gentlemen. 96%. The vaccine fails. We're all out of a job. It has failed. You need to get what's going on here. Is he in danger? Internal memos were released. Quote, we may have to seek them out and destroy them where they live. Chilling knows. And yes, he is in danger. What about Ishaw? Your son and every other son and daughter depends on whether or not you choose to live by their rules. Incineration. Immediately. Can we trust him to keep it together? Were you aware? Some tests included the weakened strain, I believe. And did you approve? I guess so. Were you aware of the lab's failure to demonstrate efficacy of the mumps vaccine, a level required by the FDA? No, to respond to the FDA's concern. And leave a dangerous vaccine on the market. Dangerous? Objection. Strongly recommended booster shots. Of course you did. What have they got? Like nothing's what they got. Would you please identify this document for us? Please identify exhibit two for me. They've got stuff. Exhibit three, please. This is a confidential document. Uh, objection. He's restricted. It's a protocol. They've got the sheets. They've got the evidence. I was told they didn't have. No one will ever believe them again.